So this is the television set bought and transported all the way from Suffolk to my back garden. And in this video, we're going to take a little look at it in a little bit more detail. I'm not at, uh, I'm not in Suffolk this time. I'm not at a car boot um, and I'm not outside uh, Africa Alive, which is where the car boot sale was at uh, Kessingland. Um, but I am back in my own garden and I did make this purchase, as you may have guessed I would um, when I saw it. In fact, my grandson saw it um, hidden away at a stall at the car boot. And he said, look, um, there's a 15 centimeter uh, color TV with um, AM and FM radio. So I went up to the guy and uh, um, I didn't haggle with him because it was priced at £15, which I thought was a reasonable offer. So um, let's unpack it and have a little look at it. So the thing I can't understand about it is it, it's made by steeple tone. And while I've looked online, I can find lots of steeple tone stone stuff. It came with a remote um, uh, uh, power supply. Um, but I couldn't find... Oh, it also has a, um, a battery pack so you can work it independently from the mains. Um, and I, it holds loads of batteries, so I don't think we'll be bothering with that. But apart from that, the thing... Oh, and... Uh, a charger cable for the car. Um, apart from that, it's in apart from the box, which is a little bit tacky, it appears to be in excellent condition. So let's put that to one side. It's even got the um, the guarantee to send away, but I, I don't think that's going to happen uh, or work. And uh, get rid of this, put that down, take the sides off, turn it up the right way and lift it out and it looks to be in immaculate condition there it is um, as you can see it's got a tuner on the side on the back well, I'll give you some close-ups at the back later in a, in a minute but on the back it has um, audio in video in and it has a standard uh, 12 volt 20 to 24 volt supply and it has an aerial socket, standard coaxial aerial socket. And it's a steeple tone, a steeple tone model CTV6. 15 inch centimeter, 15 centimeter, rather than 15 inch, that would be great, wouldn't it? Color television with AM, FM radio. And uh, um, there we go. So it's, it's, it's there. And uh, obviously I can't try it out here because you wouldn't very much see and I can't get a signal here anyway um, but I will be taking it downstairs uh, in my in my cellar um, to join the other CRT TVs uh, a little bit later but first of all let's have some pictures of the set itself so there's the front of the set um, almost looks like a flat Triniton uh, screen on it it's really flat and square really nice and uh, the controls on the front. So let me uh, just turn it round for you now so you can see a little bit more of the side. And on the side uh, we have the tuning control um, and the FM AM switch uh, which is it all looks very nice and now just a, a view of the back of it probably see that but I'll, I'll go in a little bit closer for that for you. On the back of the receiver you have a standard aerial socket which is nice. You have a plug for the top aerial of the set to plug into that if you want it to. You also have um, AV in, uh, video and audio and of course the main socket um, for the power adapter which is good. Well, I'm now down in the cellar and have got the set connected and working. Uh, the picture is uh, from an AV source. I haven't bothered to connect the RF 
uh, as yet, but that's something we can do in the future. But there's an AV source from the video recorder. And I'm going to put in a, a DVD. I think it's going to be Alfred Hitchcock's Vertical. Uh, but I'm not going to show very much of it, obviously, for copyright reasons. Anyway, that's the picture on the television. It's in colour. And I'm now going to just press the, um, press the play button on the recorder and we will see what happens. It's a, a nice looking little set and uh, I'm quite pleased uh, with uh, spending £15 on it. Here we go. As you can see the scan calls are slightly off uh, to the right uh, and that needs to be adjusted. Maybe it was not. And then in a few moments the picture will start. And uh, I hope you agree that it um, didn't do bad for £15. And uh, let's see what use I can get from it. But overall, there we go, there's the start of the film. Overall, very pleased with it. Aspect ratio, uh, it needs adjusting. I'm not sure whether I can do it on the set um, or, or what adjustments there are there. There is an on-screen menu which is very, very useful. Um, and the remote control with it uh, isn't at the moment working. But yeah, very pleased with it. Well, um, that's about it for, for this, uh, this little beast. I um, uh, hope you've enjoyed it and maybe slightly interested in it. And as I've said, if you know um, anything about the history of uh, Steeple Tune, um, uh, that particular model, then I'd be very interested to hear from you. I am now going to leave this area, um, surrounded as I am by uh, various oops, excuse me, CRT TVs, uh, the Sony Triniton up here, um, the Crown uh, colour set here, the little black and white um, uh, King Avon here, and of course the steeple tone, and uh, I think that's about it. Oh, over the other side, I've got a Matsui as well. But there's something else I'd like to share with you. And to do that, um, I'm going to move away from here and going back outside again because um, I think you'll find it interesting. It's while I was away on this holiday um, and went to uh, uh, the, the car boot sale, um, also travelled to another area in, uh, in that location. And that's what I want to talk about now. So let's um, leave here and go back into the sunshine why we can still enjoy it. So I'll see you up there. Welcome back and now up in this glorious sunshine again. Not too hot, just about right. Just wanted to share something else with you about um, my visit up into Suffolk and uh, while we were staying there I went to a place called Sheringham which was about an hour away from Kesingland. Now Kesingland Beach, and I'll show you a photo of it now, is huge and it's, it's not really a beach, it's pebbles and a mixture of sand, but it's very pleasant and very open, huge place for walking. But when I went to Sheringham, um, there was a museum there. Uh, it was initially, well it's called the Lifeboat Museum, it's just down off the front and it's a very underrated museum. And I went in there with my grandson and uh, it was I think about four pounds to go in and uh, it's huge through four floors and one of the gems we found when we went onto the second floor was World War II communication equipment. Now this equipment was used on a hilltop near uh, Sheringham during the Second World War to communicate signals to Bletchley Park. There was a direct link to Bletchley Park and Sheringham site used to pick up signals from the submarines and decode them and transmit them for uh, to, to, to transmit them to Bletchley Park for further processing. So we went into this room and there were four um, Second World War receivers and a transmitter there. Um, absolutely amazing equipment. But what was great about it was that you could actually go up and turn the knobs and um, uh, and uh, look at it. And on one of them, um, I said, oh, look, we can open the top on this. So I opened it up and there were a series of uh, tuning uh, capacitors there. And we turned the front knob and everything worked absolutely perfectly. I'm not sure whether it would ever power up, but it looked in very, very good condition. 
So I'd like to share the pictures with, uh, with you now of those sets. And also um, a, a, sh a shot of Sheringham Beach. Um, so if you're ever in Sheringham, and it is a long journey, about five hours from, from Bristol, uh, if you're ever in there, please go to the museum. It's very uh, poorly advertised, but once you're in, it's an absolutely amazing place to visit and to be. There's, there's shops there, um, uh, reconstruction shops from the Victorian period, and uh, lots and lots of other pieces. Um, so I'm going to show you some photos of that now. But uh, once I've done that, I'll come back to say goodbye. Um, sorry to be a bit indulgent in this video, but I just thought it's uh, nice to share this stuff with you. So let's have a look. First we see the huge expanse of Kesingland Beach stretching into the distance. Uh, a very, very long beach. And now on to Sheringham Sands. The people enjoying themselves. And then the museum that I mentioned, which is an amazing place. Inside we can find these vintage radio receivers and transmitters. And uh, lots of them there. I won't try to identify the makes. But... Um, very very interesting and there's one open you can see all the tuning capacitors and they all work and uh, just a, a quick look at some other ones there's my grandson oliver i'm um, trying to receive uh, an enemy transmission and that's me um, again not having much success then there's the view of the bench and the great thing is you can touch all this stuff lastly the uh, hardware shop and I wonder how much you can identify on that shelf. All very interesting stuff. Well, that's about it for this video. Just finishing my uh, Americano and uh, some of these biscuits, my favorite little notice biscuits, so I'm really enjoying those. So that's about it for this video. Um, it's been a bit of a relaxing one and uh, nothing to honour us to repair. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope to be back with you again fairly soon uh, with some other um, with some other videos and some sharing some of my other equipment. Maybe a repair but uh, you never know do you? So I'm going to say goodbye for now um, over the noise of the builders in the background. I'm going to say goodbye for now and uh, as always um, hope you've enjoyed your summer and it was not over yet, but um, hope you've enjoyed yourself. There's more noise going on. I don't know what's happening. Hope you've, en hope you've enjoyed your summer so far and that uh, you're fairly relaxed and keeping well. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you to all my subscribers and to all those that watch. Uh, once again, I'm going to say take care and goodbye for now.